everyone and welcome to Lipstick Sunday. As you probably know, I am going a little bit of a different direction with my lipstick roulette. So I will not be doing a lip swatch video this week, but I am doing a reaction video to my most controversial lip swatch video. So a very long time ago now, and I will look at the exact dates in a second, I think it was 2015, I did a review on the Give Me More lip set from Sephora. So I did swatches and sort of a first impression. And it did not go over very well, to say the least. It was my most popular video for the longest time, and it doesn't even have a lot of views in comparison to other things, but at the time, when most of my videos were only getting a couple hundred views, to have a video that had like, I think, seven, eight thousand views at that time was a lot. And it was overwhelming because it was overwhelmingly negative. I had no idea the video was going to take off like that, um, but my lipstick preferences have changed, I would say, somewhat drastically because during that time period I was really big into nude and light pink lipsticks and that was pretty much it. I did not venture into anything sort of bold or colorful and if you've seen any of my recent videos you will know that I am no stranger to bold, crazy, weird lip colors. Black, green, hot pink, purple, things with glitter on top of it, whatever, I'm all about it. My makeup preferences have changed a lot in general, so I thought it would be really fun to do a reactions video to this one, and I had mentioned it before, and a lot of people said that they would be interested to sort of see me react to it and how things have changed. So I have not watched the video since I edited it. I generally do not rewatch any of my videos because why? <laughs> it's kind of weird watching yourself and editing for a few hours is weird enough as it is. So I have not watched my videos since. Um, I did go in and make some changes because I ended up disabling ratings and a whole bunch of other things because, yeah. But anyway, I have not watched it. I've only looked at the thumbnail and I knew I was wearing this sweater so I dug it out again. Um, but yeah, let's uh, let's get into it. So I've got some, some headphones here. So I'm going to put the video here on the screen so you can follow along with me and let's get into it. Okay. Okay, so I have an ad here that I can't skip. Um, but I see it was published on September 29th, 2014. So it's actually a lot older than I thought it was. It's almost three years. Um, I have a little disclaimer at the top of the description box about strong negativity. Uh, so my caption in my description box just says, I was really excited to try out these lip products from the Sephora Favorites line and I have a lot to say. Check out swatches as well as a demo of what it looks like on me, Casper the Friendly Ghost. Why, 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 L, no. Um, have you tried any of these? Do you want to? And what do you think of the colors on me? Please leave me a comment. Thanks so much for watching. Let's get into the video. Hey everybody, welcome back to my- I even have the braid thing. I didn't even see that in the photo. That's funny, but you guys know I usually had my lipstick roulette uniform. I just kind of kept the solid black, usually a turtleneck, and the braid because I figured keep everything consistent. But at least I just keep my hair out of my face. So this is natural lighting. Not a whole lot of makeup on my face. This is in the apartment I was living in just before I moved into the house that I'm in now. So this was my bedroom. Behind me there's a door which was my closet. You can see I'm just sitting on my bed and I have natural lighting. And I kind of wish I had natural lighting still. Oh yeah, do that tape close up. I am talking so quietly. I don't know if I was trying to be quiet or not. But... Last year we got four full size lip products, if I'm not mistaken. This year I think we got, looks to be two full size lip products. Why are there already swatches on my hand? I don't. Oh my god, this is so awkward. <laughs> Apparently I did have a lot of thoughts, but none of them are valuable. Oh! had the Sephora logo and said Sephora on it. It was pretty rose gold I was showing the box from the last one. What even was the point of that one? Okay. Like on like a ghostly pale person. Don't Just because some of these are really dramatic and pigmented and dark, or so they look to be. Dramatic, dark, and pigmented. Okay, so this is when I was using um, Windows Movie Maker to edit. So Windows Movie Maker is so basic, you can't do any overlays or anything. So that's the uh, 
the classic close-up kind of shot there while you're talking behind it. I don't remember how I even did the lip swatches. I feel like it was just in silence. Chipped nail polish and everything. Some things haven't changed. Oh, that was like three there. seconds of a lip swatch. I have never tried. That was awful. You could barely see it. That was a very short, short swatch. Like That's not the Smashbox helpful. one. Slightest. there, very faintly. Doesn't look bad though. Packaging is quite reflective. I think you can even just have seen it outside <laughs> the tree. Yep, um, you could. Oh, this actually. Why are you reading? Uh, it? Some of these, especially these, are smaller. I don't think this is a full size. Um, this is. Um, a, a two grams. Do your research. Do your research. 0 0.07 ounces. It is the cream smooth lip color and red amour. Oh, I didn't realize that lipstick was so old. So. Oh yeah, there's no way this could be a full no, size. No, no kidding. So this is what that. I just look like. so excited, don't I, to be swatching these lipsticks? I'm just thinking, I'll never wear red. Wow, this is Kat Von D. Um, I really liked the Bambi one. It's a super vibrant pink. Um, I love the formula of... It's funny, I just talked about how I liked the formula from the Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, and now they're one of my least favorites because I've tried so many because of my lipstick roulette. So besides being really slow, oh, wow. not it's editing like very well, color. I don't really see the problem here. Now, if I, I vaguely remember so there, getting frustrated and you can really with like, some of the, the berry the colors, I think, Although near the end. But this beginning part, I'm like, this is pretty, this is pretty. Oh, wow, this is a gorgeous uh, color. I say that Outlaw is maybe more you can hear the birds in the background. Red Love it. To Nature. That actually looks really good on you, Elle. That looks really good. Like, so goddammit. I don't really go for um, liquid lip products often, and this one looks to be a full size because it is completely. Dry. Okay, I gotta take a moment to digest that. I don't go for liquid lipsticks often. Oh, L. Oh, L. Sweet child. I like this packaging. Wait till you discover ColourPop. Fusion. This is red essence. This is a good one. Yeah. So this is what. The smell. That's why oh, I ended up buying a couple full sizes. You can notice you smell it as soon as you pull it out. Of I had to declutter them recently though, because they uh, it expired. That kind of sad. Gross. Um, just keep smelling yeah, it. Like just keep smelling strange. it out. Oh, but it's gross. Gotta love right. that close up, right? Kind of leans colors, which With I think that makes terrible. It's like into the pink nail polish with silver glitter. It's like it would feel comfortable on the lips, but we'll find out soon. Another good color. Looks really nice. Next. Um, but I never address afterwards what it felt like. See, I'm not really negative here at all. My hair looks so fried. Oh my god. When I was always trying to light, lighten my hair. And this is when I was growing out bangs as well. It looks good. It is a fresh sugar berry tinted lip treatment. Um, this I'm really excited for. I think I will get a lot of use of it under no, this. Won't. As scary and dark as it looks like in the packaging, it is a lip. I really, really love the fresh Still true. Lip Still really enjoy the Still have way too many of those small sizes because they're like impossible to finish up. This looks very scarily dark. You can see the fear in my face wow. with the oh, color. Right. Like, oh I think no. this is probably going to be a little scary. Oh, it's wait. sheer. Oh my gosh. So we'll see how it works this time. This looks really tiny, um, but you really don't need a lot of product. I like that it comes with these little lip brushes, although these lip tars are so messy. Um, I think something like this would be gorgeous on a darker skin tone. I think it's going to make me look really um, witchy. It's going to make me look really witchy. Really dark. It, almost, <laughs> it, it is... <laughs> So there's that one there, and I really oh, want hell. a light hand with this stuff, trying to get it. In a few short years, oh, that is going to be um, your exact goal in life, just is to look witchy. It doesn't you look are going right. to go for those so we'll witchy, see what that one looks like. witchy, witchy looks. Yeah, it doesn't look bad. It doesn't look great, but I feel like that's an application flaw and not the color. I feel like the color is pretty good. I mean, not every color is going to flatter everyone. That's sort of the fun thing with this kit, though, is just trying stuff. Although I, I do think a lot of these things I've declared. Neutrals and the pinks, which um, I will definitely get the most wear out of. Uh, you say that now. And I was obsessed with those. I'm not big on lip glosses. I'm really not. Um, this Still true. Still not big on lip glosses. Uh, I just wish it was a thing. Um, so that's pretty. Oh yeah. It actually reminds. Can you see it? A lot. Can you see the swatch? The 
shade stick. It's like two seconds of a swatch. Mercier in blush. I think I already have this. Um, I have two glosses. Laura Mercier That's not cool. Glosses before. You see? It's so pretty. Both of these, in my opinion, lean more towards the pink than they do um, nudes. It's true. That's they really do look more pink than nude. Next, I agree with you, Elle. Bare mineral. Ooh, but this is I don't think Again, I wore this more much at all. Me than it does nude. Yeah, this is very, very pink. I'm really disappointed in the neutral colors because they. Really okay, I would agree pink. that those look more pink than they do nude. So that's I said marble really marble very little marble negative marble about the red or mind. the berry colors, which I just I mean, knew I wasn't really, gonna wear. Really but these ones, my complaints are those pink. are supposed to be nude um, shades, so and they're pink. Like this. Um, I'm very they're, they're pink. In the nude selections like, of this. Even when you see that, okay, of course I give a longer swatch of that one, but even when you see that on me, it does not uh, here's another, really look like a nude, oh, it looks Too Faced like a pink. Hey, La Creme um, lip gloss, lipstick. Last year we got a full size of this, and I really liked it. This is a really small size in Naked Doll. I know this I like this one look still. more like a neutral color than um, the others. We'll see how it That's swatches. Um, I really like, this is one of like the best Too Faced products, in my opinion. I hate their eyeshadows a lot. They're so chalky, um, but I've used Ooh, some of their girl, products It's still mostly true. Nice. Um, I, really I do like the semi-sweet and, and the sweet peach palette, but so you can tell, yeah, I had some bad Too Faced experiences. Like if somebody asked me to classify the top three, I would okay, so like I them as pinks. See that neutrals. very clearly. When you see that swatch there, you can color. see the difference. Those look more, so much more pink. Yeah, that's it. Apply the so lipstick that's more. One redeeming thing. I think if that had been and looking ahead at the pinks that are next, um, they look really um, bright and vibrant, and not like a fun pink. So I feel like I'm kind of vibrant and bright pinks, pink. so and not fun pinks. Items. So I'm sure There's what I mean by fun pink is like a light pale pink, the first one is a mid-toned pink, I can't remember. nothing crazy. I was looking at the main stories yesterday. But this um, is a really pretty color. It's a very I was so excited for a color. There. Oh, I was so excited. I was so excited for a lipstick that color. And you can just see, you can pinpoint the exact wow. moment the when my heart breaks. Dark. Look at this color. I would assume that it was going to be like this color. That at this point, this is when I I have completely given up. I'm like, okay, I bought the reds and the berries, which I'm not gonna wear. I've got a bunch of pinks when I wanted some nudes, and of course, that's, you know, I did not want versatile nude lipsticks. Not any browns, as you can see, it was not trendy. I did not want any browns. I wanted light, pale, nude lipsticks, and then with the pinks, I wanted light, pale pinks, and now I'm just done. Oh, holy crap. My face. When are those hot, vibrant pink colors? scared me to death. This is a terrifying color. Oh my god. I'm gonna look like a clown. Look like a clown. So there's that color there. Wait, Elle, until you start wearing black lipstick and green lipstick and orange and purple. Is, and the hot pink. Which I think are some of the ones I only, are some of the only ones I kept. I don't think. I think you have to really be a certain kind of person to rock this and I really don't think this is gonna work for me. You really have to be a certain kind of person to rock this. You will be. Look, look, that looks good. I'm excited. That looks good. That looks good. And guess what? You will rock that. In this section, this is the benefit. You are that person now, L. I kind of wish I could just go back for a moment and just tell her. Congratulations. You are that certain kind of person. This is this is turned up all the way. That that is it. Yeah. Isn't that kind of sad? That's how much product. That's all you get. This too. And we'll see. Lastly, um, there's a Bite Beauty Luminous Creme Lipstick. And oh, watch me freak out over this one. And this is, oh, come on. <sighs> Berry color? No, it's definitely, it's definitely mm, pink. But, so, oh my God, it's a done. Pink. So I have to say I am quite conflicted because I thought the video was going to be a lot worse than it was. It was still very weird watching myself back like that and just sort of looking at all the things that I would have changed or wish I could have done it differently. I would have definitely had longer lip swatches. 
I will probably pick up this set again. I've just been reviewing it every year because it's fun. I don't need any new lip products, but that's not the point. But you know, just have longer swatches and to edit better. But hey, I was just really starting. I had not done a lot of videos at that point. So I was still getting used to everything and trying things out. So it was a completely different experience than, than what it has become. I will definitely say that. And I was not very adventurous with my makeup and I'm definitely more adventurous now. And I, I wish I could go back and, and tell my former self that, you know, just to have a little bit more fun and to, to break out of my comfort zone a little bit more instead of just doing the same sort of boring neutral looks. I was really not doing anything exciting at all and it took a while. It actually took some project hands to really push me out of my comfort zone and into the place I wanted to be, which is pretty much where I am now. I'm only worried now about improving technique and skill. I'm not worried at all about different colors. I still don't like wearing red lipsticks, but it really just is a personal preference. I don't really shy away from much else. And even darker reds I will wear. It's like just like the light, bright, true reds that I just don't personally like on myself that much. Um, I will wear them from time to time, but I'm just not a huge a huge fan of them and that's okay you don't have to like everything but I definitely play around so much more now so it's kind of funny seeing how some of my opinions have changed and how some of them have stayed the same for so long where that video was 2014 almost three years ago it'll be three years the end of September so so it's crazy to me for sure how much and how little has changed and just how much time has gone by because I just did an empties video which was four years to the day of my first ever YouTube video. So it's uh, it's been a lot of time. It's been a lot of time here and it's so much fun and I don't regret a single minute of it. I'm just learning how to better handle everything now. So you just have to take things and keep on going. It's hard. Um, I, I uh, instead of bringing things onto here, usually I will just sort of rant on my Twitter or Snapchat or something and then I'm done. And it's so much easier to just send out a tweet or a snap or something and get whatever I'm feeling off my chest and then it's over and it's done. And I can just keep moving forward. That's probably the biggest difference between like me now and me during this video, which I was actually really happy to do and really excited for. As you can tell at the very beginning of the video, I was really excited. It was just near the end where I was like, <sighs> just sort of let down by what the set was and what I was expecting things to be. You can really see it with like with the chart lip product, which had to do with the packaging more than anything else. But you know, I, I don't see much wrong with what I said in that video, honestly. I just got a little over dramatic at the end, which is nothing new. And I just think people took it a little too seriously. And I feel like sometimes people take things I say a little bit too seriously. And my personality doesn't come across exactly like the way that I am. I'm so sarcastic and I feel like it just does not translate very well. People who know me get it and they know to anticipate it but I feel like it just doesn't translate and that was part of the problem because yeah I was fed up but you can see at the end I said it's still a good value if you want to play with stuff if you want to try something different it's still good value if you feel like you would use those sort of darker brighter more dramatic tones that you would get use out of it like I don't feel like I was negative and so many people were saying I was negative overwhelmingly negative and I really don't feel like I was overwhelmingly negative so so anyway it was fun doing a little flashback looking back at my old lip swatches so I'm just excited to keep moving forward and keep doing it more and more better things so I believe in two weeks time I'll have a lip swatch video it'll be the what I wore lipsticks and that's pretty much all I have to say I'm going to try and throw in some random lipstick videos when I can because they're just so much fun I have so much lipstick and I really love them so um, oh, and this lipstick that I'm wearing is Stevie from Anastasia. It's my newest lipstick, but I wanted to wear it to sort of show it off on Lipstick Sunday because I felt like it was really appropriate in many ways. All right. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, for spending some time with me today, and I hope I will see you very soon. Bye for now.